Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go over for anyone who's new here is just what is the Game Dev Club? Oh, look oh, okay. who it is! <laughs> I still need my shirt. Oh. <laughs> so, for the goal of the club, we're a project-based club, and our goal is to teach all of you about the various aspects of game development. There's like programming, art, music, writing. Uh, we want you all to get that hands-on experience working on a game project throughout the semester. And there's absolutely no experience needed to participate in this club in any way. We welcome anybody, regardless of any skill levels. And uh, in case you're new here, here's a video of all the games that were made by our members last semester. It's 10 minutes. Do you want to watch the whole thing or just? Uh, we can put this in two times speed. All right. All right. Speed run. Uh, huh? Forget to put the chapters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can tell from the shadow. <laughs> Yeah, so those were all the games that were made by our members last semester. They did an amazing job, and I'm excited to see what happens this semester. And next, uh, just to remind you all, you can help support the club by becoming a VIP member. Uh, give us money. Yeah, give us money. Uh, <laughs> it's $15 for this semester, uh, and if you already paid for the yearly membership last semester, then you don't have to pay again. Uh, and this semester, we're planning on giving our VIP members discounts on things such as like stoles, merchandise like keychains and pins, the sticker sheets, and we're also looking into like maybe giving goodie bags to our VIP members for like the banquet. And also, if we plan on having a social event, then the VIP members may get something for free or have some kind of priority when it comes to those things. And yeah, here's so here's the QR code for the membership form. If oh yeah, question. Uh, unfortunately, last semester was the only chance to get a shirt. We don't. We we unfortunately don't plan on ordering any more for this semester. So. Do we still have more shirts though? Uh, like yeah. Extras? I think we should have some extras. There's there's a few people who didn't pick up their shirts from last semester. So we are gonna reach out to those people of in case they need to they want to pick them up. And if they end up not picking them up, then I guess we have some extra shirts that we might be able to. These are what the shirts look like. Yeah. These are what the shirts look like. We're Yep. And yeah, uh, so even if you plan on just being a normal general member, we do ask if you plan on being active in this club this semester, please fill out this membership form. Um, I'll give you all a couple seconds to scan that. I need my shirt, Mr. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> this guy, how some of ruckus over here? <laughs> So disrespectful. I know. Yeah. It's okay. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we're good. I think everybody scanned. We'll also send this out uh, as an announcement, as usual. And of course, if you're not haven't already, please join our Discord server. That's pretty much where we do everything. We send out all our announcements, forms, sign-up sheets. Um, as long as you're in there, you should be good to go, and just be on the lookout for any announcements that we'll send after this meeting. So I'll give you all a couple of seconds to scan this if you're not already in our Discord. Okay, I don't see anyone scanning, so I'm gonna just move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up, let's get into board introductions. And before I move on, I just have to say, because I would feel bad if I didn't, if you're on Discord and you're wearing headphones, this is just a volume warning. <laughs> yeah, uh, what are you talking about? No, 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 just, no. just keep that in mind, okay. <clears throat> so first up, <laughs> my name is Melvin, and I'm the president of the Game Dev Club. I'm a third year computer science major, and I like building model kits like Gunpla. I also really like exercising and going to the gym. I'm also a fan of speed tubing, which is like solving a Rubik's Cube as fast as you can. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, some of my recently played games, uh, I've played Ace Attorney, that's like my favorite game series of all time. I've played every single main, uh, mainline game. And I also, last weekend, just recently beat Sekiro. That's, that was a really good game. <laughs> and then. I'm also playing through Spider-Man Remastered right now, and I also have a Bloons TD6 addiction. I was trying to get the password to <coughs> Instagram last night, and he was just on Bloons. Like, yeah. he didn't answer for like 30 minutes. I was yeah, like, <laughs> uh, I was distracted. All right, hi, I'm Sam. I'm the vice president of the club. I'm a computer science major with a art, uh, minor in studio arts. So my hobbies include D&D and other TTRPGs like Vampire the Masquerade, Cyberpunk, um, etc. Uh, I'm really into art and music, and also I like talking about my latest hyperfixation. So last time in fall, um, Baldur's Gate 3 came out, and that was my most recently played game. <laughs> I'm really sad to announce that uh, Fortnite is my recently played game. I've only played Fortnite this entire break. So let me, let me give you some context, right? Um, so they did a collab with TMNT, and that's like my favorite thing ever. I'm a really big fan. Uh, so I downloaded a game just to get these skins, and then it turns out they, they don't exist anymore, so I don't have them. Um, <laughs> but now you can play Weezer um, <laughs> in the game, which is pretty... Wait, yeah, you can play Weezer. 
You can play the g oh, and it's all Larry's <laughs> fault. Uh, it's all Larry's fault. Former Secretary Larry is the reason why I play Fortnite now, so that's all his fault. Wait, why didn't the it, hold on? This is so important. There we go. <laughs> all right, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, Josh, your favorite treasurer, um, computer science major. Last semester here, womp womp. But also, yay, um, I won't have to stick around with these clowns anymore. Um, hobbies, same as last semester. Um, since last time, show of hands, anyone tried the microwave bean sprouts at 2 a.m.? I've heard of those. Heathens. <laughs> well, uh, the supremacy of bean sprouts will come in due time. but. Um, anyways, recently played games, unfortunately, um, that one. Uh, or at least it was, until two weeks ago. You see, I think, I think the endless monotony, right? The continuous cycle, the futility of daily grinding in Genshin Impact, it ignited some sort of masochistic streak in me. So, one fortnight ago, I begin playing. On to you, Rob. Oh, oh, this is me. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm Rob. I'm your secretary uh, this semester. I'm in charge of scheduling the buildings, like the room we're currently in, and our workshops, which the first one is going to be on Friday. But that's not a workshop. More details on that later. Um, <laughs> so our, my hobbies include reading. Um, I love One Piece. Yeah. And I hang out at local car shops on the weekends. Um, I recently play games. I play Guilty Gear Strive, play Honkai Star Rail. I, pl I played Stardew Valley, and I went through a whole year recently. Very fun game. And then I also bought Vampire Survivors. And I also like that. So, yeah. Hi guys, uh, I'm Luca. I'm the historian, and my major is computer science. My hobbies are tennis, traveling, and watching Formula One. And my recently played games are GTA 5, FIFA, Valorant, and also Fortnite that I didn't want to put it on. <laughs> 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 oh, um, I, I saw a webmaster, but he got drafted to Science Council, so he's not here today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? Yep, yeah, we can hear you. Hi, uh, I'm Solomon. Uh, I used to go here, but I don't anymore. I graduated last semester. Uh, I'm the video editor. My prior major, before I, before I ascended to the realm of the heavens, was computer science. Uh, my hobbies include programming, making art, and fighting games, like in general. Uh, my recently played games include Ultra Kill, one of the best games ever created, Guilty Gear Strive, one of the worst games ever created, uh, Hotline Miami, and Hotline Miami 2. I won't answer any questions on that. Team Fortress 2 and Minecraft. And as you can see in the background, there's the art that I made for the uh, Cal for not Calpa Zelda, for Gunslinger Hilda. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you, Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me. Okay. Hi. What? What? What happened to it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just pressed it. Press it again. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm so I did I did, I did this bit last semester, but I don't hate you guys. I'm, I dated one. And we broke up, and it was my fault. So I, I'm cool with them. That's um, real. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, computer science majors. You guys are. I, I'm assuming you all are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or computer engineering, like that guy. Anyways, um, I play a lot of D and D and like other things. I, I played more than you. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Um, I thought you would fight that. No. Why would I fight that? Damn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, acting. I acted in a play last semester. It was cool. And um, I write. One of my plays is getting produced um, here. Woo! Woo! Um, thank you. Yeah. Um, they're not. They're not telling me when. Because <laughs> um, because they don't get paid enough to keep their students informed. Um, <laughs> recently played games. Disco Elysium. Um, I hate that game. Um, <laughs> Moon Sour Defense Six. 
uh, Outer Worlds, which is, I will defend that game, it's okay. Um, and League, I've been playing, I have, no. I haven't played it Boo. in a few days. <laughs> you play Genshin! <laughs> okay, I, 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 wait, real quick. Josh, I, where did the club funds go? Josh, when did you have, I have something to spice this up, I have two truths and a lie, okay? okay? Um, one, I got kicked out of a protest for spitting on someone. Number two, I, I have been arrested. And number three, I died trying to bust down a door in Disco Elysium. Someone raise your hands. Which one's a lie? <laughs> Which one's a lie? Number one? That one's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the third one's a lie. The third one's not the lie. The second yeah. one's a lie. I was putting a cop car, but I was not I'm like, arrested. Nobody doubted that you got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my one. <laughs> <laughs> what was the protest for? Um, it was Fruit of Medieval Times in Buena Park. <laughs> Down there, yeah. I have some friends who work there. Yeah, anyways, that's me. <laughs> uh, this is a satire account. <laughs> okay. In <And> Minecraft. <laughs> okay, and... <laughs> okay. Upcoming club events! Yeah, with that, here's some of the upcoming club events. Um... <laughs> Okay, so as you know, our main thing, the main thing that we do are the game pitches, which is like our semester-long projects, where we have all of you members pitch a game idea that you would like to complete by the end of the semester. And from then, you all get in groups and just work on that, and we'll check in with you as the weeks go by. Your goal is to develop a minimum viable product by the end of the semester, which is just like a very, a very like easy, what's the word, minimum version of what your game a should demo. be. Yeah, demo, kind of. <laughs> And Core concept. Yeah. <laughs> and well, so his voice from above. It's like he's still with us. <laughs> our next week meeting is actually going to be a more in-depth explanation of what the game pitches is and what we're expecting from it. And so, if you're new, then you might want to attend that. And if you are planning, if you already know about the game pitches or you're planning on continuing your game and submitting a game pitch, then just want to let you know that that form will be due next next. No wait, no next Friday. Uh, so the Friday after this Friday. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And yeah, we're going to go more in depth with it next week. And also, we, we're planning on having workshops pretty much every single Friday uh, in Building 6, room 113 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And if you were in this club last school year, you'll probably recognize this room. It's not, it's not the same one that we, we've been using for last semester stuff. Uh, it's a lot bigger and a lot better than the one from last semester, I think. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we're going to begin our workshops on February 16th. And our very first workshop is going to be about visual effects in Unity, followed by f next week would be a portfolio. And then after that is like a video editing. And they're all beginner friendly, and you don't need any experience to attend. And on top of workshops, we also are planning on having socials and game nights. Uh, get to know your club members, have fun, eat, eat some free food. And our first game night is going to be next Friday uh, on February 9th from 3 to 5. Ninth? Ninth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be in Building 6, Room 113. There's going to be free pizza, snacks, and games. So hope to see you all there. And we're going to send an RSVP form for that uh, sometime later this week. And something else that we have upcoming, we're actually going to be having a career week on the week of February 20th. So what that entails is our Tuesday meeting is going to be about resumes, like fixing up your resume, making it more presentable, and catching the eye of recruiters. That's going to be Tuesday. And then on Friday for our workshop, we're actually planning on having a mock interview workshop featuring an alumni, one of the previous presidents of the Game Dev Club. Her name is Celine. You might have seen her on the Discord. She's pretty active on there. And so what we're planning on doing right now is essentially just having her giving whoever's interested, like a mock interview. Right now, we're thinking like behavioral and technical, like coding interview. But we also want to look into like maybe getting other people from the industry to also do like, I don't know, like an art or music kind of oriented mock interview if you're interested in that. We're still in the planning phase for it. And we do need to work out the details. We are planning on sending out an interest form for the mock interview because we want to get an a number of like how many people even want to be mock interviewed. And we also want to know how many of you are interested in like a technical interview or like an art or like a music interview, those kinds of things. Uh, so just be on the lookout for that. And yeah, that's one of our, that's what we're planning later on. And also something upcoming later this semester, if you're interested in becoming a board member, then the board elections is coming up in March. So this is your time to kind of get some new experience if you want to 
be one of the people up here running the club for next year. Um, it's a great way to meet new people, and also it looks really good on resumes. Uh, honestly, I remember I had an interview for like an internship position before, and I feel like the only reason why I passed was because I have the game dev on my resume, because pr pretty much half the interview, he was just asking me about like my time as president. Uh, and after that, he said he really liked me because of everything I said. So yeah, I'm telling you right now, I think it's a really good experience and opportunity. Uh, but yeah, more details on that coming up in March. And next up, we want to talk about what has changed from, from this semester. Like, New update dropped. Yeah. <laughs> what has changed this semester from last semester? Uh, so if you remember, we sent out a feedback form uh, at the very end of last semester. And we went through and looked at everything. And we, we kind of like made some changes based around those. Uh, so the very first thing, I think the biggest p piece of criticism or feedback that like, you all gave us was you want to have more socials and like, kind of fun activities in the club. Uh, I definitely can agree with that. I feel like last semester we were lacking in socials a little bit. And so we're going to try and schedule around that and include more social activities and fun activities like on Tuesdays and Fridays. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, right now our t Friday time slots are kind of packed. Like we have a lot of things planned. So it's going to be kind of hard for us to plan more of those like full on two or three hour socials. Uh, so we're probably. Our plan right now is to include more of those like kind of smaller fun activities on Tuesday meetings. Like after we present everything, then we'll move on to like a fun activity. And something else that we're kind of looking into and thinking about is maybe having socials on weekends um, on top of having stuff on Fridays. I know like some of the things people said on the feedback form was uh, they would have liked to see more events happening outside of Tuesdays and Fridays. And for weekdays, I don't think it's possible to do that considering everybody has classes and like we have to work out everyone's schedule but we are going to look into doing things on weekends potentially uh, so be on the lookout for that and just to just one thing to keep in mind I know this is kind of far away but we are planning our banquet for this semester to be on a weekend uh, we didn't really want to do that but because th there was a ton of scheduling conflicts with like ASI uh, they would not let us book the room we wanted on Fridays for some reason around the end of the semester so right now we're planning it to be on a Saturday in May so just keep that in mind. I know it's a long time away, but I just wanted to bring that up. And next thing, I don't know if you all notice or if you even care, uh, the, board <laughs> and, the board and officers have merged into one name. Uh, before, uh, some of us were called board members, some of us were called officers. And, but we decided to merge them all and just call everyone the board. I Personally, I thought it was a little bit weird how they were separated. And what I really didn't like about that was it kind of implied that the officers were like less important or like had less power than the board members. But I don't think that's true. I think that every single one of us is equally as important to running the club. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and we all have our own like um, set roles that all contribute equally. Uh, so I didn't really like that. So that's why I wanted to merge it. Functionally, we're all the same. We're not doing anything different. And when the elections come around, <gasps> Oh, wait, he's alive. <laughs> he's returned. <laughs> he has risen. Yeah, so, and yeah, we're not doing anything different. And when the elections come around, it's all going to be the same process. It's just under a new name. That's just what we decided this semester. Um, for the next year board, they could totally just change it back if they want. Like, it's up to them. <laughs> <laughs> but that, this is just what we decided. So, <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. Um, and yeah, I. I don't think I missed anything. Is there anything else my board members want to add? OK, in that case, uh, yeah, so just a couple of reminders. This Friday, we don't have anything planned, so uh, don't, no like workshops or no socials. Our next Tuesday meeting is going to be a more in-depth explanation of the game pitches and like what we're looking for when they're due. And we're going to go over some past examples as well. And then next Friday is going to be our first game night please look out for the RSVP form for that. And yeah, after this meeting, be on the lookout on Discord. We're probably going to send some announcements with some forms, like a, the, the mock interview interest form. Um, there is like the social form and the game pitches form, all that. Yeah, so just be on the lookout. And if you haven't already, please scan this QR code and check in so your attendance is accounted for today. And question? With the QR code on Discord? Uh, yes, for we'll send a link. Yeah. Yes, same mm -hmm. server. Yeah, same server. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be sending out all of the, these forms and everything through an announcement on Discord later on. Um, but yeah, there's our Instagram. And if there's nothing else, then thank you all for coming to our first meeting. And you're all free to go now. Thank you. Oh, what's that?